happy Saturday, everybody. It is for real Saturday sourcing this time around. Last weekend was just an anomaly with the four day weekend. So today is pretty much what my Saturdays look like. I am outside of my first Goodwill waiting for the doors to open. I got about 10 minutes before they kick off here. And it looks like I am, looks like it's me and the book guy, which is typical. Last week was just weird. There were people everywhere. I don't even know what was going on. Um, so uh, I hope everybody had a great sales week. Uh, I'll be going over some of my sales uh, that I had during the week in my what sold video. Um, pretty good Thursday, uh, Friday, um, and uh, even the beginning Tuesday, Wednesday sales were really good this weekend. So, um, so yeah, as soon as they open the doors, we're going to go in and see what we can find. So let's do this. So the shoes, they were pretty good this time around. <laughs> Those I'm super interested in, <laughs> but some of the pricing on these things, $29.99, yeah, that's going to be a no. Um, I did find a few really nice things, a uh, pair of Ugg boots and just random stuff. Those Newtons are still sitting there. Nobody wants the Newtons. They are, that's sad. Did not really find a lot in the clothing department this time around. I did find a couple of Nike jackets, but other than that, it was not a whole lot. And man, I'm telling you, jeans, not really finding much right now. Um, you know, everywhere that I've gone, I, you know, I'm thinking I'm finding something and then it ends up being some weird brand I've never heard of. Okay. Totally thought this was a Death Wish coffee mug, and no. Uh, it's still actually a really nice little piece of pottery, so I went ahead and picked it up anyway. So got a lot of really great stuff this time around. Well, that was a great first stop. What a nice way to start my Saturday. I found some really great shoes. I found an awesome pair of Bear Trap boots that, you know, they don't sell for a lot, but they're a good sale, and I really wish they were my size because I would totally wear them. found an Ugg boot, um, you know, like one of the brown, like the normal looking classic kind of style Uggs and um, some weird looking Vans that I've never seen the style before, some Crocs. I mean, just some really nice stuff. So uh, we're going to head over to stop number two and see what we can get over there. And at the very end, we will go through everything and see see the, the lay of the land. All right. So here we go. We are at stop number two. So I definitely hit the mother load on shoes uh, at this particular Goodwill. Now these, they looked kind of like a Sarita dance go. So I went ahead and just took a minute to look them up on the eBay app. Unfortunately, they weren't really anything to write home about. So they got put back. But I did find a good number of tennis shoes. No jeans again. I don't know what's going on with that. I did find a few nice little toys not a lot in the clothing department today, which, you know what? It's okay. You know, you go through cycles and sometimes you find lots of clothes, sometimes lots of shoes. Today was pretty much a shoe day. So I had a lot of really great finds. Oh my gosh, y'all, that was an awesome stop. I got a hit like pay dirt on the shoes. I cannot wait to show you what I got. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, it was awesome. Uh, I'm actually going to go to a new spot today. This is kind of, I, somebody told me about this place and I knew it was there, but I never really looked much into it, but it's supposed to be like a, like an Amazon kind of liquidation type center. So it's like new stuff at like liquidation prices. So I'm going to actually stop there today instead of my other one. Cause my other one was kind of picked over the last time. So I'm going to give them a couple weeks to kind of restock. So I'm going to hit this other place. I think it's called a uh, bargain hunt or yeah, Bargain Hunt is the name of it. And uh, so we're gonna go check that out, see if we find anything. So this is the Bargain Hunt. We're gonna go in, check things out, see what we got. So the Bargain Hunt, I don't know, the jury's kind of out. I went directly for the like 90% off section because most of the other prices I saw when I was scanning, it didn't like the set, what they're selling them for is what they're selling for on eBay. So. I was like, okay, that's not really going to work. So I went straight for the super, super deep discount 90% section. And I'm going to test the waters a little bit. I didn't go and like buy every single Crayola thing that they had. I bought two and I will list them and see if they sell quick. If they sell quick, I'll come by, you know, back over here the next time I'm out this way and I'll buy 10 of them. And I also bought like a silverware set 
It looks like it's selling for about $40. They wanted 18, so I was like, let me test the waters. So I went ahead and I bought it. Worst case scenario, I have a new set of knives. Um, yeah, it's just, just okay. Um, I think there's some potential there, but a lot of what I was scanning were like B stock brands and things that I like, I would just not even look at if I was in the store. So, you know, it's not something, it's something nice to just kind of have if I'm having maybe a little bit of a, a tough day at the Goodwill and there's not a whole lot going on. Uh, I did find some stuff for like myself. I found a backpack for my daughter, her strap bro broke. And so I needed to get a new backpack for her. I found one for six bucks in there. Can't beat that. Uh, needed electrical tape, found that in there too. And uh, so I just had a couple of things that I needed to get and they ended up being in there. So um, so I think that's a good little addition to uh, maybe not every week, but maybe every couple of weeks, kind of stop in and see if they have uh, any new things in that 90% off area. So I'm gonna head home and then we're gonna lay everything out and go through what I think is a pretty darn good Saturday. So here we go. So here I am amongst all of my goodies that I found today. I don't know if I would use the word epic, but I think it's close. So I'm gonna start with the first place that we stopped. That was my first Goodwill. Um, I found this really nice little Olympia. It's like a train case. I don't know, I just have a feeling about it. I looked it up and their luggage sells pretty well. Um, this was $4.99, so this is something I think might actually sell pretty well. Um, I did get a couple of coffee mugs. The one was the one that almost, almost uh, had me. I thought it was a Death Wish coffee mug. I got super excited. Uh, it wasn't, but I still grabbed it for $0.79. Cents. And then this is a little tea Starbucks cup that I just thought was really cute. Worst case scenario. I have a new teacup if uh, nobody wants to buy it from me. So that is pretty cool. Speaking of Death Wish, I have a Death Wish box right here that one of my husband's coffee mugs came in. I got him the Valhalla one for Christmas. So, all right, so here we go. First up, pair of Ugg boots. Probably, they probably are usually like a 30 to $35 every time. These sold for, these were like $10. Not too bad. These, I wish for my size, they're a pair of really cool bear traps and they're just really unique and cool and I, bear traps are like hit or miss for me, but I just really liked the style of these. So I went ahead and grabbed those. Okay. I have never seen a Vans like this before ever. So I'm hoping the uniqueness of this means that it's going to sell well. I did not comp it. I know, tisk tisk. Uh but I just thought it was something that was super cool. So I grabbed those Vans, a pair of Crocs. Um, again, these are good for 14 to 20 bucks, 15 to 20 bucks every time, so why not? These are a really nice pair of Rush 33 Asics. Great condition, soles look great. I'll probably try to brighten them up just a little, but nice find. Nice pair of Merrill slip-ons, Vibram soles. I thought those were nifty. Soles look like they've never even been worn, so that's good. And a pair of Sperry boat shoes. Always good for about 25 to 30 bucks for me. Okay, now, I didn't get as much clothing today, but I feel like I, what I did get I think is gonna be good. This is a little Vineyard Vines, little zip-up jacket. I thought that was super cute. Super cute, super cute. I'm not even sure what Vineyard Vine sells for because I don't see it very often, but I know it's like a big bolo, so I grabbed it anyway. Uh, this is a really super nice Nike uh, jacket. It's got like the fleece and then almost like a soft shell. Um, it's a size large. I'm pretty sure it's, it was in the women's section, but I feel like this is a men's. I'll have to do a little more research there. Then I found this other pair of Asics. These are the Gel Phoenix three or eight, eight, three, I don't know. Uh, but I just thought these were super cool looking and especially with that fun graphic on the sole and they're clean, the soles look really good, just a really minor scrub up there and that's all good. I found these Adriana Goldschmied, Goldschmidt, gold something or other. Yeah, these are black corduroys. I have a pair of her jeans right now, they've not sold, but I hear a lot about this brand a lot and it's always shows up in like the Poshmark parties in the high end stuff. So, so 
We'll see. We'll see how that goes. I did find a pair of True Religion jeans that I thought were super cool. I've not seen the white with this really super cool stitching. And then the pockets were super neat as well. So I grabbed those. Um, always looking for the True Religions and the Miss Me's. And then I also got another little Nike jacket. It's just a really clean, nice, little dry fit uh, women's jacket. I picked this up for four bucks. It is a Fisher Price tape deck, like karaoke machine thingy. And I'm hoping, I'm hoping it works. Obviously you can't always test those things at the store, but it doesn't have the microphone. So that's a problem. And I did look for it, but I'm thinking even without the microphone, I can probably get around 20 to 30 bucks for this little guy. It was uh, with the microphone, the full thing was selling for up to 50 bucks. So fingers crossed. So that's the first stop. That's just the first stop guys. I'm like, I can't even believe this. Okay. Second stop. It was like shoe palooza. I don't, I did not buy very much in the way of clothing at the second stop, but I did find this Arctic wear, um, Arctic cat jacket the green and the black and it's super nice so that's a good find here comes the shoes guys it's it's just it's wow okay i had a lot of work left for today um meryl the soles are perfect like and i've never seen this sole pattern the sole pattern on the bottom of this i don't know if you can see it is the world it's like a map on the bottom it is the coolest thing i've ever seen these are called the world passport i've never sold a pair of these before so i'm very excited about that and they're in just wonderful wonderful condition i just need to stop buying the sas brand shoes these looked perfect like they've never been worn but y'all i can't sell a pair of sas shoes to save my life i have probably about eight of them, I think, in my inventory right now. Just sitting. Nobody wants them. Like, what the heck? And I have, like, really nice ones, too. I think I just need to stop buying them. I don't know. Tell me what you think. Timberland. Timberland gray suede. It's kind of, I guess you'd call it a, a chukka, I think, is what that is. Ortholite soles. Great condition. Oh, my gosh. You guys. Oh. Hoka. Hoka. I, it's so funny. Whenever I see Hoka's, um, my sister used to work at a Greek restaurant and every time they would come out and do the flaming cheese, they would yell, Opa! And every time I see the Hoka shoes, that's what happens in my brain as I say, Hoka! Okay. Just, whatever. Just, it's fine. Um, Echo. These, I, you know, Echo is another brand that's kind of a hit or miss, but I really thought these were in great shape and great condition. So when I had to pick those up, another pair of the Merrells and these are more of like a hiking style shoe great condition these are called the canteen Merrell and the soles are just mm, it was just a good day for shoes today um fly knit no fly wire fly wire Nikes these sell great a couple of rocks I gotta pluck out of there no big deal and Saucony Saucony I don't really care how you say it as long as somebody wants to buy them. Ha! Huh, yay! These are so nice and such great shape, great soles. Everything looked perfect on those. I'm so excited, you guys, on these shoes. So the rest of the stuff from that one, these guys were in the toy aisle. It's a little puppy and a little kitty, and they're so cute, and they're VTech, and they all work. So I decided to buy them both because this one was 99 cents, and this one was 99 cents. So for two bucks, I'm going to lot them together and see if I can get maybe 25 out of them. I think that's, I think that's fair. I also got this little guy. He is a leapfrog and he works. He was two bucks, but I saw him online. It's a little kitty, the little yarn. I saw it online and it was going for around 15 to 18. So I figured, you know what, let's go for it. I'm kind of dipping the toes in the water for the, for the toys. Uh, this is a gooned little elephant new with tags y'all new with tags. Uh, one dollar. So we'll take that. We'll take that. Then the other, oh, there's more shoes. L.L. Bean slippers. Yay. They look like they've never been worn outside. So that's awesome. So L.L. Bean slippers. 
I also picked up a TaylorMade duffel bag. Um, I know TaylorMade is the, you know, good brand for golf clubs. And so I saw this and I just picked it up. I, you know, I don't know, even if I, it was only five bucks, I think five bucks. Yeah. Five ninety nine. So even if I sell it for 20, it's light, I can probably ship it first class. So, and then I got this Neff, N-E-F-F. duffel bag or, or backpack. It, I looked it up and the comps on it were really good. So I, I just figured let's give it a whirl. Let's see if we can get in with that. This I bought just because it was super cute. And I know that if it doesn't sell, my daughter will love it. It is a little, um, Disney animations collection. It was 99 cents. I think think I want to say I think it's Rapunzel I think it's Rapunzel okay so that I'm not done yet huh <laughs> I'm not done yet I also have this baseball bat it's an axe baseball bat axe origin alloy hyper whip composite cat bat whatever that means uh, but I did do a comp when I was in the store and they looked to sell for for decent money so again, I'll do a little more research on that, but I'm thinking it's like going to be a 20 to 30 and for four bucks. Yes, I'll take that. Thank you very much. And if nobody wants to buy it, I will set it by my bed for, you know, if I need to protect somebody from something, I don't know. Um, all right, we're almost there. I also got, whoa, 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 this. Is it right, L? Is that how you say that? It was 10 bucks, but I looked up right L shoulder pads and these are the X force twos. And I think, I think this is actually going to be a good seller. I think it's probably around a 30 to $40 thing and it looks great. There's no major issues with it. All the straps and everything are still there. So I decided to just take a shot and see if that's going to turn into anything. And then I also got this little guy. This is a diaper bag and it has all the little attachment thingies in it. It was $5 and it is a Jujube and Jujube diaper bags are pretty sought after. And this one just looked brand new. It just, it looks so good um, that I figure I was going to go ahead and pay five bucks for it and slap probably 25 or 30 and maybe plus shipping and see what we do. So that's it for the Goodwill stuff. Like for real, I am just, I'm over the moon with what I got. I really am. And I think, I think I did really well. And then the bargain hunt stop. I'm going to show you guys what I decided to buy for the bargain hunt shop. Um, this is the Crayola action blocks. I paid $6 and 75 cents for this. It's brand new. And the comps on this are around 20 plus shipping. So we'll see. Now, again, I bought two of them. We'll see what happens with that. Um, I got two. And then the other thing that I bought is this Rust-Oleum cleaner and degreaser. It was $2.75 a bottle. And I literally saw sets for this selling for 18 plus shipping. So we're going to try it, see how it goes. And then the last thing is this set of 12 premium stainless steel steak knives. It's so worst case scenario. I have a whole new set of new steak knives. But this was $18.75 and the comps were right around 40 plus shipping. So this is a test run. I, this may end up bombing, but you know what? Worst case scenario, my kids have new blocks to play with. I have 12 new stainless steel steak knives and I have some Rust-Oleum cleaner that I can use around the house. So I don't really feel like it's that much of a, a, of a stretch here. So we're going to list this stuff up. And if it is a hot seller and it sells within 24 hours, I'm going back to the bargain hunt place and I will buy every single one that they have. The margins on it are a little less than what I would typically get for say a pair of shoes. Obviously for shoes, if you're paying six or $7 for a pair of shoes and you're reselling them for 40, you know, the margins there are a lot higher than I bought this for 1875 selling it for 40. But if it is a known way to get that income stream going, I'm going to do it every single time. So that's what we got. Wow. Now I have to list it all. So yeah, 
So I hope y'all had an awesome, awesome sourcing day if you were sourcing today. And hopefully everybody has some great sales this weekend and I will be throwing up a video about what sold over this weekend. Y'all have a great, great weekend ahead and like and subscribe if you are so inclined. Leave me a comment, whatever the case might be. Have a great one.